today. Tennessee tries to even the series with Indianapolis. Defensively, Mike, we got to match the tempo of this offense. We need to get turnovers also. Borders with a great catch. Yeah, they say teamwork make the dream Derek work. Henry. Everybody trying to last, but we first. That's three. Another one for the back for Derek Henry. Henry. Oh, the Ladies and gentlemen, Arthur Juan Brown, teamwork. 70 yards. Sack! Big Jeff. <laughs> Jeffrey Simmons. Onside coming. The Titans catch it. 30, 20, 10, 5. End zone. A.J. Brown. <laughs> Touchdown, Titans. <laughs> Tighten up. Welcome to the Bet MGM studio and the Mike Vrabel Show, presented by Coca-Cola with the head coach of your Tennessee Titans. I'm Mike Keith. The Titans are 8-3 after knocking off the Indianapolis Colts two days ago, 45-26. to And as we bring in Mike Vrabel, you come off the win over the Baltimore Ravens in overtime. You put in an excellent week on the practice field. Teams confident and excited going into Indianapolis. And then on Sunday, you take care of business. When a plan comes together, it's a beautiful thing. It is. You know, they all executed the keys. It's all, it's all about the players. It's about making sure that they're prepared, ready to go. Um, they, they were. They had a great week. We, we started off early uh, in our preparation. We gave them Thursday off. They came back focused on Friday. We traveled. And uh, it was businesslike. And they were ready to go. And I'm proud of the way they finished as well against a, you know, a very resilient team, physical team in the Indianapolis Colts. It felt like all 48 men who were active contributed in some way. And when that happens, that builds a positive energy that you can carry. A great thing to see every end of the Titans roster make plays. Yeah, I mean, I think that's everybody's job is they, they have to find a role to help the team uh, on game day whether they start, whether they come in because of injury or substitution. And uh, you saw David Long and Will Compton step up. You saw David Quisenberry. Uh, so, so many guys out there that were able to, to step in there and contribute. You know, Josh Kalu came in there on defense at times. And, you know, it was, um, you know, it was an all-around uh, team victory. It sure was. And that's what Mike Vrabel's six-pack will reflect. We could show all the touchdowns, but we're going to show you more than that. We are going to start with a Derrick Henry touchdown. Third straight game. The Titans score on the first possession of the game, and it's Henry taking the swing. Yep. Uh, you know, a well-executed play. You know, something that we worked on and, and we thought we could take advantage of on film. But there's a lot of guys out there that are, you know, getting some blocks. You saw Jeff Swain right there. You saw Corey Davis coming in there and Cam Batson. And that's allowing a big fellow to get through there and, and score almost untouched. It was good to see another Pro Bowl player back for the Tennessee Titans. We don't normally show punts on the Mike Vrabel show, but Brett Kern, an incredibly effective day. Here's his first punt of the game. Well, we protected him, and the special teams had a uh, – you know, we, we had a lot to prove against an excellent uh, unit. And, and you can see that, you know, when we protect Brett, you know, he can put that ball inside the 10 yard line and he can also bang it down there close to the sidelines and, you know, limit returns. And, you know, that's exactly what he did all day. He pinned him all four times he kicked in the course of the ball game. For the Titans then, well, they see one of their catches of the year, one of the best catches of the week in the National Football League. It came on fourth and four in the last minute of the first half. Yeah, you, you know, it starts with protection. You know, it starts with the protection. Ryan was able to progress through. Uh, clean pocket, you saw him step up and, and work through his progression and, you know, give Corey an opportunity. Corey went down and, 
and got his hands underneath that football and, and got up and, and almost scored. And I know he would have loved to score, but it set us up a, a score and opportunity that, that we were able to capitalize on. Corey Davis continuing to make big plays for the Tennessee Titans in 2020, as is Jeffrey Simmons. He gets to Phillip Rivers for a quarterback sack. Yeah, the big fella just continues to work. You saw him get his hands up, work through there. And I, I think he, you know, by getting his hands up, he forced the quarterback to bring it down there and then, you know, kept working. And it was good to see him get the sack there. He works, works really hard. And, you know, he's continuing to improve and, and help us out tremendously on defense. Three on the season for Jeffrey Simmons. The Titans get a takeaway, something they wanted to improve against the Colts. Was that turnover ratio? Here's Breon Borders doing his best Jerry Rice impersonation. Well, again, you saw Jeff, Sim Jeff Simmons there in the pocket, getting his hand up, forcing the throw right there. And, um, you know, Breon had, had one earlier, which you would have scored on probably. But, you know, he came back and was able to make a heck of a catch here uh, to, to help us out there down the stretch. Breon Borders really adding something to this football team right now, Mike Brable. Well, defensively, I think probably him and, and Tier Tart are probably two of our most improved players. Um, probably names you wouldn't have thought about early in the season, but they're, you know, Breon's playing, starting, playing significant numbers, uh, snaps for us. Um, you know, and Tier Tart can, continues to come in and, and, and help us inside and, and, and really just push the middle of pocket and, and, and play physical in a run game. All right. So how about the cherry on top up by 12 final moments of the ball game? You just want to recover the onside kick. No, you want to run it back. Well, you know, I think if, when it's this wide open, you know, we had a lot of faith in AJ and, and Corey, those guys that go get that football. So, you know, we, we protected him and he came and attacked it and, and it was as wide open as it is, which you'll see from here. Um, it's hard not to, to keep going uh, when it's that wide open. Is it designed by your your men up front for him to catch the ball? Yeah. You know, we all have to block, and his job is to recover the football. And they went and got their guys, and he, you know, had a nice pocket there. And normally we'd, we'd want to get down there, but, you know, we trust A.J. and all those guys with the football in their hands. Sixth touchdown of the game for the Tennessee Titans as they go on to win by 19. Later in this edition of the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola, it's the Rackley Roofing Tough Titan with Amy Wells. But up next, the Bridgestone Clutch Performance Play of the Game. A hint, more AJ coming up from the Bet MGM Studio. The Bridgestone Clutch Performance Play of the Game is next on the Mike Brable Show, presented by Coca-Cola. Let's go long for a little A.J. Brown with some run after the catch, Mike. Well, it starts with Nate Davis. You know, Nate Davis takes two. He double bumps. He goes inside, back outside. It's a tremendous job. It's not an easy thing to do. But then, you know, it gives us the opportunity. Ryan, you can see there, has enough time to deliver the football. And then the extra effort uh, for Cam Batson you know, to help A.J. score. He's just a strong runner, uh, and he's got that breakaway speed, um, which is really deceptive. He's just a strong runner. He's hard to bring down there in, in traffic and, and arm tackles. What is it about him with run after the catch compared to other people? I mean, there are a lot of good athletes in this league, but what is it about A.J. Brown that gives him that ability? Well, his strength is his strength. He's a, he's a, he's a physically strong uh, player who – has breakaway speed and, and builds speed and plays faster with pads on. And then probably he was timed at the combine and plays faster with the ball in his hands. And, you know, he's fearless. You know, he doesn't mind going in there to traffic and uh, making those catches. And then when he does the, where he's at in the football field, if he gets vertical or makes a guy miss, you know, it's normally has an opportunity to, to go the distance. All right. Time now for Mike Vrabel's favorite part of the program. It's the Delta Dental. Can you guess this Titan? Brought to you by our friends at Delta Dental, obviously. All right, can you guess this Titan? I think that I can. Can you really? Yeah. Okay, we'll reveal the Delta Dental. Can you guess that Titan when we come back? Plus, the Rackley Roofing Tough Titan. Maybe it's the same guy. Stay tuned for more of the Mike Vrabel Show, presented by Coca-Cola.
Can you guess this Titan? Brought to you by Delta Dental. Oh, Mike Vrabel says he can guess it. I'm going to say that that is uh, David Quisenberry. Is it? Yes, it's the Titans' left tackle himself who got his first career start in the win at Indianapolis. And if you don't know the story by now, you certainly should. David's been part of this team for three years now. Last year, caught a touchdown pass against the Colts in what was a pretty special moment as he came in as an extra lineman. He comes in at Baltimore, plays 16 outstanding plays, and then he starts at left tackle, and uh, you get a win. The offensive line plays very well. The more human story of this is he's a guy who's beaten cancer to make it to this point at age 30. He's a great story. He's a great guy. Well, David is, is more than just a story. You know what I mean? He, he lives and dies uh, to be a great teammate, to be uh, someone that supports his teammates. Uh, and he was prepared for this opportunity. Uh, he's earned the right to be in there. Uh, he's earned the right to be on this football team. Uh, we're lucky to have them. Uh, and again, uh, it, it, it's not perfect like it isn't with any player, but his effort and his attitude uh, and, his, and his toughness is something that, that we admire as a coaching staff and as a team. Fan favorite, a great football player for the Tennessee Titans in terms of his effort and focus every single day. He is our Rackley Roofing Tough Titan. David Questenberry with Amy Wells now. David, getting your first start was obviously a big deal and something that you worked really hard to get to. But it was also a day that the entire Tennessee Titans offense played really well. Did that make it even more special for you? Yeah. Wow. I felt like, you know, I reached kind of kind of the top of the mountain. It was and it's been a huge mountain. Kind of seemed uh, like I'd never get there, you know, sometimes. But uh, a lot of people believe, believe me along the way, push me on the way. And, and, and Vrabe is one of those guys. 30 years old, I'm a cancer survivor. I went through chemo for three years, you know, but he believed in me. That's special, that's special. You mentioned that Mike Vrabel is somebody who played a big part in your journey back to football. When he asked you to come to the Tennessee Titans and you could continue that journey together, why were you so excited to play for him again? Dude's a legend, you know what I mean? The guy's a stud, big energy, big football guy, loves the game. You know, if anybody's gonna give me a shot, it's gonna be a guy like Braves. You know, he's one of those guys that uh, that really has kind of seen that seen that mountain get climbed. So have you taken a moment to really think about how far you've come and how big this moment really is? Uh, yeah, it's gonna get me all choked up over here. It was special for me, I wasn't trying to get too caught up in in the moment. I was just you know really focused on going out there and and doing my job, executing my assignment, and executing the game plan. And you know now that it's done and, and, and we did so well. It, it is it, it's really cool to kind of sit back and, and and look back at that mountain I climbed. David Questenberry, thank you so much for being our Rackley Roofing Tough Titan. We're going to take a quick break now, but when we come back. We're going to show you some Titans fans, and not like regular Titans fans, a Titans super fan. You're not going to want to miss this. Stick around. Welcome back to the Bet MGM studio. The Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola. One thing that you learn about NFL fans is they are passionate in a way that's not just about the game on the field. Titans fans love everything about the organization and share it with their spouses, with their friends, with their kids. In some cases, there's an even deeper meaning. Take Zap Girl. My name is Carrie Romero, a.k.a. Zap Girl, and I am a Titans super fan. In 1997, that's the year that my life changed forever. I was diagnosed with ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation, which are life-threatening heart conditions. Essentially, the heart is just shaking. It's not beating when I have these episodes. And it required me to get an implanted cardioverter defibrillator. My sister, she was a nurse at the time, and she understood the full severity of what was happening. And she said, you know, 
I think you should take on the nickname Zap Girl. I'm gonna call you Zap Girl. Because what happens is literally, the device that I have in my chest delivers a shock to my heart. And so that zap, that brings me back to life. When I was on my road to adjusting to life with this new device, that just happened to be the same year that the Houston Oilers moved up to Tennessee. I kind of poured myself into focusing on this cool thing that my friends were all getting into. I hadn't really paid attention to football before. It was a great distraction, honestly, for what was happening in my life. The Titans really became my team at that point, and I remember going to my first game at Adelphia Coliseum, and it was just, it was electric. Hey everybody, it's Kaysen, and thank you for tuning in to this episode of Hey Kids, this is Titans Talk with Kaysen. Joining me today, my co-host, my mom. What's up, Kaysen? My son started, oh, he wanted to start a podcast. And when he said that he wanted it to be about the Titans, I thought that that was pretty awesome. For him to be as young as he is, I said, well, I'm gonna have to be a part of it. And he said, well, that's what I wanted. I wanted for you and me to, to do it together. So I started doing research into it and there are no other podcasts done by kids specifically about the Tennessee Titans. I wanted to educate kids who don't really pay attention to football and maybe get them interested. I really like analyzing the stats and talking about how many yards Derrick Henry rushed on this play, how many yards Tannehill had on this game. It's just really cool. Kaysen put together a wish list and someone that we know within the Titans organization was very kind and offered to share that wish list with the people that Kaysen wanted to have on the podcast. And the very first response was from the voice of the Titans himself, Mr. Mike Keith. Mike Keith, the voice of the Tennessee Titans. <laughs> that <was a> <laughs> now that's an intro. We had the best time. And then Kaysen said the touchdown Titans at the end, and we are still talking about it today. Henry breaks a tackle, dives for the pylon. Touchdown Titans! Yes! <laughs> Damn it. Ah! Henry! The Titans are special to us as a family because of the family environment that they have helped to create for their fan base. I was a fan before I had my family. It's been amazing to be on this journey with them. We have had the best memories with the Titans. We feel like we're just part of the family, and that's what it means to us to be a Titans fan. Congratulations to Kaysen, by the way. His podcast celebrated its one-year anniversary last weekend, and it was an honor to be part of the show. When we come back, Mike Vrabel comes back with his Nissan keys to beating the Cleveland Browns. That's next. We're in the Bet MGM studio. The Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola. Time for the Nissan Keys to success. The opponent, Cleveland, they are 8-3. and three. Mike Vrabel, they are number one in the NFL in running the football, 161 yards per game. That's where the keys have to start, right? It has to. You know, I mean, we are going to have to be uh, excellent, all 11 of us, uh, to be able to, to set the edge and build a wall on this zone scheme that they, they love and, and tackle. You know, we're going to have to swarm. That one guy is not going to be enough for Chubb or Hunt. You know, we're going to have to tackle, be extremely great tacklers, and, and get a lot of hats to the ball. So stop the run is key number one. For you, offensively, continue to score touchdowns when you get inside the opponent's 20. Yeah, that's, got to, that's been a strength for us. It's going to have to continue to be a strength against a, uh, you know, a top 10 red zone defense. And so, uh, you know, we put a lot of pressure on our offense to, to go down there and score, score touchdowns. Uh, but it's going to be a huge challenge against a, a very good red zone defense this week. You always have a special teams key among your three. What is it this week? Well, I think they really took it to heart last week about winning one-on-one -on -one matchups 
and creating field position. We talked about that last week, and we were able to start drives on our 36-yard line. They started it on their 20, and that, that 16 yards every time we change possession is going to be something that, that's going to help us win football games. So trying to show those guys that and see if that can carry over. Keep building that momentum on special teams like you've had the last two weeks. Absolutely, Mike. Thanks, Coach. Remind you that the Titans and the Browns kick off at 12.02 Central Time. And we'll have it for you on 104.5 The Zone at 11. We hope you'll join us. Thanks for being with us for the Mike Vrabel Show, presented by Coca-Cola from the Bet MGM Studios.